This is how to fillet crochet a sailboat part six, six. And we are on row six in the diagram and we're gonna start with a chain four. Then we're gonna turn our work and add a double crochet into the very first double crochet there. Then we're going to chain one, skip one and add a double crochet into the next. And then we're going to keep adding double crochets until we have a total of 15. So I'm going to put one more double crochet into the next 14 stitches. It'll add up to 15. I hope you're starting to see where the diagram gets turned into stitches. And then at the end, I included the pattern notes, of course. But I have not been consistent in the pattern at the end. Um, normally, when you have a pattern, you would have the same language, I guess, throughout. And excuse my voice, I'm starting to lose it because I'm having another allergy attack. Long story. But um, I've been trying to be a little bit more inconsistent so that you can see that even though something may be written differently, it is still, um, the concepts are still the same. Because unfortunately, there is a lot, I don't know if it's unfortunately, but there is a lot of leeway between how designers can write their patterns. But here we're going to chain one. And then we're going to skip one, add a double crochet into the next. Then we're going to chain one and add our last double crochet into the third chain of our previous turning chain. And that's it for row six. Part seven will be tagged in the comments. And